there's more. There's so much more. Since the new mobile layout update, more and more problems have come to light that I completely missed in my last video, including some potential security risks for everything that you post. Hello everyone, this is Soundrout, and before we get into the security risks, let's get into what I said wrong. I said that Discord searches were improved in my last video, but it's actually the complete opposite. Whoops, I shouldn't have trusted what they wrote on their page. A person on Twitter cataloged all of the problems that were created with searching on mobile. The first thing they wrote is that the search function and pins no longer show image previews, this means that you have to click on and be sent to each individual message and pin that you find with images just to view them. If you didn't know before, the images just showed up immediately. This will make it a lot harder to find images that you need to and slows down searching in general. A pretty terrible change that'll cause a lot of people to completely miss important pins as well as some people take to images to convey lots of info in them. Next up is that searching no longer gives you a confirmation button before you decide to jump to a certain message. Instead, it'll just jump you straight to it. So now you can more easily and accidentally jump to any message that you just searched up. Pretty annoying, not gonna lie. As well as this, the new search function no longer saves the location that you were looking at. Once you jump to a message and then go back to search, you'll lose where you were. Put simply, searching for multiple messages in a row is painstakingly more difficult now. Something less terrible that they posted would be that search results are no longer categorized into pages. They are now put into one long list. Personally, I don't think that's much of a big deal, but the fact that the place in which you were looking at is no longer saved causes a lot of problems. It'll take forever to scroll all the way down to where you were looking, as opposed to the previous page system where you could more easily navigate your way back to a certain message. In the previous search system, you could just type out part of someone's name and it would bring up a list for you to auto-complete. This saved a lot of time, but like the other changes listed so far, there's no way to do this anymore. You have to type out their entire name in order to get a search, which is crazy. Finally, the worst change to the new search system is that they completely removed the in-channel filter. Instead of simply typing this into the search bar, wherever you are in Discord, you will now have to go to the channel that you want to search in first. Also, when you search in a specific channel, it will only bring up messages from that channel. This means it's impossible to do a server-wide search now. This is by far the worst change that they've ever done to searching, both by removing an already existing feature, which is the in-channel search wherever you are, and by completely gutting the original search option by making it only channel specific at all times. What are you doing? So that's all that this user posted about searching and all I could find for the moment. But if there's any more problems with search that you happen to notice, let me know. Also, I know that the mobile app can be extremely laggy compared to before. That's something that I also missed in the last video, so I thought I should mention it. At last, we get to the real security risks that Discord has made apparent in their latest update. First of all, they have began running an experiment in some servers that results in all of your messages being scrubbed by AI. Basically, if you type messages in a server where this option is enabled, your messages will start being read by an AI and summarized into a message for other people to look at. Now, this feature technically came out a while ago and is still in beta, but the reason why I bring it up in this video is because the new mobile layout inherently includes it now under the notifications tab. So it's no longer just a little beta feature that some people on desktop have access to. Now, I know that Discord utilizes the information from reading your messages quite fairly. I mean, they just display it to random people in a way that could misrepresent what you actually wrote. <laughs> Also, the fact that AI scans all of your messages means that they must save it somewhere and then process it. Now, I am putting on a tinfoil hat here, but they could do more with your messages than what they're saying. Anyways, not a very good look for Discord. And that wasn't even the biggest security risk that's come out of this update. You know those private things that you intend to send to a specific person? 
those images with confidential documents or personal information, well, it's now possible for those images to be sent to random places elsewhere on Discord. This Twitter user posted about it and showed how they sent an image in a Discord server and then it somehow ended up in another person's DMs. A pretty terrifying prospect to say the least. Imagine if that image had contained personal information, like your face, that you didn't want anyone else to see. Thankfully, there is a potential workaround for this. Another user posted how, before sending an image, you can tell whether it's going in the correct channel or not, depending on if it gives you a preview. I can't believe I'm saying this, but please check before sending your images to make sure that they're being sent in the right channel. Well, that's all that I've got for this video. Uh, sorry if I've been a bit dramatic, but these things are kind of absurd, and I really hope that they get patched soon because they are really bad for the community. If you happen to find anything else that's wrong with the new mobile update that I haven't covered here, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think about these specific issues too. How do you feel about the security risks in Discord? Pretty terrifying, I know. I hope that they eventually patch them up and we can go on our day without being worried about our messages being sent in the wrong places. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.